Hey guys, it's Tyler here, and um, before I started the video, well, before the video begins, um, a new bit of activity has been going on for me. Um, I actually now set up a new thing that you are about to see. Hey guys, Tyler here, and this is probably going to be the finale of Paranoia. If it's not, then this is probably going to be episode, what is it, 4, 3, I don't know. Anyways, let's continue on. And we're supposed to leave leaving and going to Mr. Niorda's house. That sadly, we need to... It was a game. Um, let me turn it down, actually. <laughs> There he is. Oh god. Is he? No. Um, where do I have to go? Oh yeah. Stay away. Stay away. I have to go this way. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. It's tight right in here. Alright, please tell me this is the right place. I did not look at the places to hide in this, so I have no idea if this is the right one or not. I did just blindly. Is it? Oh, yes it is. Oh, God. Stop it. Just stop it. I I didn't do anything. It's not my fault. Please, stay away. Just leave me be. Leave me alone. Man, this is actually kind of a fun game. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe it's now. It's morning already. I guess I fell asleep again. Why didn't Niora put me back here? He didn't even say anything. Oh, this key. I forgot. I've done it in the wall. Can you leave the door by the stairs? Alright, let's go. No. I think that this is the only door that is still locked. Let's go down. It's so dark. I can't see anything. It's too dangerous. Was there a flashlight in there? Okay, let's go. I actually know what this one is, because I actually know this one is by memory. Oh, a flashlight. Now I can look out in the middle in the basement. So yeah, she took the flashlight. We're going down there. Is that a biscuit doll? No, it's a bell doll. Yeah, there's something written here. There's writing on the wall. It's hard to see in the dark. Two, three, four, two, four, three, six. Huh. Oh, I think I think I might know what this one is. I think it could be the computer. It's a code, so it's got to be the computer. Um, it's got to be that. It's not the computer. I'm going to that. All right, two, four, three, six. Yes, it is. There's only one file. Diary. I visited the gynecologist today. The doctor smiled wide and said the infirmary treatment must have worked. Apparently, I'm two months old. I was so happy, I absentmindedly called him during work. Thankfully, he was just as glad. I should contact my sister soon, too. Uh, this looks kind of like the notes in Windows 8, 7, I don't know. Alright, anyways, just one. I went to my sister's and told her the news. As suspected, she looked displeased. She accused me of having kids just so my rich husband wouldn't run away. I'm sure that when my sister came to despise me, it must have been mom and dad's debts. And to think I'm more grateful to her for raising me more than anyone. I left my sister's house being effectively driven out, but little Mickey came up to me and whispered, congrats. I've been making lots of stuffed animals lately. I'm also making clothes for the baby. I want to meet them soon. If the baby is a boy, he might not want these stuffed animals. I could give them to kids in the neighborhood instead. I hadn't felt anything for a while. The baby wasn't moving anymore. I never heard its first cry. He was a boy that looked just like his father. There was a few funeral and a cremation. I'm scared to talk to him. I'm terrified of being abused as a killer. 
My sister laughed at me over the phone and said, Well, good. A shamelessly optimistic girl like you couldn't be a mother anyhow. What? I didn't even say anything. He left. He couldn't move on without me. With me. He said he wanted to raise a happy family, so he left. All I have left is this house. The neighbors are spreading rumors that I'm a killer. Even the news people on TV say I am. So do the stuffed animals I'm selling. Everyone hates me. I'm scared everyone around me hates me, everyone out to kill me. I have to lock everything and hide the keys or I can't feel safe. I talked to my sister and she called me crazy. A crazy who should die. Even Mickey told me to die. I think I should die too. I jumped off the second floor and broke my leg. I was taken by the people in blue and confined by the people in white. Today I'm finally free from the white girl and now it's my only chance. If I'm too slow, I'll be caught again. Just need to find the rope in the storehouse. Auntie. I never wanted to do that. No one ever said that. Auntie. Okay. So that's apparently it. And there's the doorbell. I'm guessing it's Mr. Muir. I was right. I think. Yep, that was right. Mr. Muir. Hello, Miss Takamura. So how does it? Nothing happened, I presume. You, you don't believe me, huh? Huh? I'm not really surprised that you don't believe me. But... But still, why would you be so awful as to take me back here in my sleep? But Miss Takamura? Tell me if I'm a bother. You could just tell me that this is just too cruel. Inside, you're laughing at me for saying weird things because I'm depressed. And you pretend to be helpful? But Miss Takamura, calm down. I have no idea what. What? Are you still making fun of me? Calm down, please. Didn't you tell me you were going home yourself last night? Huh? Don't you remember? You woke me up in the middle of the night and said you'd be fine. I almost said in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh wow. Huh? Miss Takamura? What's the matter? Oh, do you need to use the toilet? I'll be fine now. I'll go back home. But that was rather sudden. It's late at night. You should stay, even if it is just across the street. It's fine. After all, it is my house. Are you sure? Well, if you say so yourself. That can't be. I I didn't do that. I was sleeping all last night. Uh, Miss Takamura. There's something I wish to say about this monster and his offense. What is it? I don't think that you're lying, Miss Takamura. However, if you were being chased by a monster, there would be traces of it, as well as the hair. I found nothing of the sort when I looked around. I also checked the well. It, there was no hole or cave as you said there was. Well, what? It's true, I'm not lying. So, I was thinking, could the monsters you saw in the events that occurred? hallucinations or delusions? Hallucinations? Delusions? What does your depression come from? It may be your mother's hysteria, or perhaps the stress at work. Or perhaps it's guilt with regard to Masaiki. Masaiki became mentally ill from the guilt of losing her child. She began to hear and see things. Perhaps you are the same way. Chat with her guilt that you can save the site unless you see strange things. That's not real. It, it wasn't hallucinations. I can not think. But is there any other explanation? If you really are hallucinating, you need to go to the hospital. Not to disturb you, but I just don't want you to end up like the site. 
things and I'll just I'll handle my I'll handle it myself. Miss Takamura Tell me, please, what do you what do you really think? Um I don't know what to say. I'm gonna say this. I can't even consider that it's just a point to see. Don't say that you haven't seen it yourself. It it really is a monster. Miss Takamura. Just leave. Get out. I don't want to see you or anybody. Just stay away. Excuse me. If anything happens, I'll come ready. Wow. That thing is no hallucination. It it definitely exists. Um, um. Are you okay? What was that last call about? What happened? <clears throat> Mickey, what is it? Are you crying? Mom, help me, please. There's a monster in this house. It's trying to kill me. You're the only one I can ask. Help me, please. Come get me. I want to go home. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to laugh too much. Huh? <laughs> I just knew you were crazy, just like she was, having all these delusions. I always thought you were like her, so we can fantasize you, and you end up being a crazy too. Don't call me again, I don't want anything to do with crazies. Go hang yourself like she did. Wow, she is a jerk. She won't believe me, but sure. I'm I'm not crazy. Day five. All right, we're almost done, and the timer has not gone off yet. That's awesome. I hear something. Is it that monster? Where is it coming from? All right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna save because I know I know this time that it's actually coming from here. Uh, what is this? I it can't be. It it's. Oh god. You gotta run. Have to have to hide. Oh god. Um in into the room. Down here, in here. And there we go. It, it's a dead end. There there's nowhere to hide. Stay back. Stay away. A bear? Oh god. Such a guy cute. Oh, it has her name on it. I think this is a flashback. Yep. Why do you keep reporting every little thing to me? I don't care about your child. I'm sorry, sister. It's just, I want to tell someone. So who else would, would I? My child seems quite healthy. It's a rather late birth, so I was anxious how it might go, but... <laughs> you love to boast, don't you? About how you married such a rich man and live in such harmony. Unlike you, I'm a very busy one. Don't bother me with your nonsense. Auntie? Oh, 
Hello, my Mickey. It's been a while. Are you done with school for today? Yeah. Hey, is your baby gonna be a girl? Well, I don't know yet, but I get the feeling it will be. So I'm making lots of stuffed animals. Though if it's a boy, maybe he won't much care for them. I don't care what my timer says. I still have time. Yes? Well, I'm, I'm recording. I don't think so. If we made them into, I think anybody would like them. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you. I know. I'll make a stuffed animal for you too, Mickey. Ah, but you are in high school, so maybe you're a bit old. But no, I'd love to have that, Auntie. Would you? Really? Of course. I'll make you a cute one. Look forward to it. Oh, but if Mom finds out, I think she'd be really mad. It'll be fine. I'm sure she'll accept the present to my loveliness. Thanks, Auntie. That's right, a stuffed bear. It was from Auntie to me. I was looking forward to it, but not long after, Auntie's child died. Auntie, I'm sorry. When you were suffering most, I didn't help you. I was scared of Mother. I, I let you die, Auntie. But I, I always loved you, Auntie. I wanted to meet your child, and once you finished this bear, I was going to cherish it. I even became a writer because you loved books and taught me about so many. Don't cry, Auntie. It was rough for you. It must have hurt. You hate me, don't you? Are you mad that I, that I let you die? I. For you, Auntie, I'd do anything. I love you, Auntie. And we died. Um, and we died. Mora. Miss Takamura. Oh, we didn't die. Huh. Mr. Me. Huh? Miss Takamura, oh thank goodness you've come too. Sorry, I was so worried. You didn't answer the doorbell, so I came down here. An ambulance will be here soon. I'm so glad you came too. I shook you, but you wouldn't wake. Miss Takamura, are you crying? I remembered. I forgot so much, but I remember someone very important. I was weak. I couldn't do anything, so I couldn't help her. But I did love her. And I'm very glad, so I'll be fine now. I remembered that even I, even I could be. Since then, strange things stopped happening happening in the house. I was examined at the hospital and they discovered I showed signs of schizotheranea. Something like that. I still don't know if it was real or hallucination. But now I don't really care which it was. Oh, I love the music. Uh, okay, don't think I forgot anything. Mr. Miura, what is it? Uh, um, I heard you were leaving, so I came to see you all. You're going back to your parents? The situation sounded complicated. Yes, I'll be going to the hospital often, and there's a kind doctor near there. 
I want to get better with my mom. Her hysteria is getting worse. She needs to get counseling. I see. What? Ah, uh, well, it seems unfortunate we're saying farewell so soon. Don't worry. Once Mom and I are doing better, I'll come back here for sure. Really? Yes. It's the house my auntie left me. I'd love to live here if I could. So I see. I'm glad. I'll drive you to the station. Not many taxis come out here. Thanks a lot. That would be great. I'll be back soon, Auntie. Aww. And that's it. Quite sad, actually. Oh, I got the good end. I guess... I guess there really is multiple endings. Alright, so that's basically all of paranoia that I have... Paranoia that I have to show you. This has been Tyler. If you like the commentary, please click the like and subscribe button. I love any addition to my subscribe button list. Um, also check out my Facebook and Google Plus page. Um, and to see more info about what I'll be doing and whatnot. And so this has been Tyler and I will see you guys later.